was, I was writing poetry in a kind of item by item sort of sort of scenario. So I'd write a poem; it would add to the collection, you know, and that's how it kind of works in with some poets. Um, however, in the middle of it, I sort of slightly sort of lost my steam, and I was thinking, how can I really make this a sort of more of a moment um, when the book comes out? Because I would see these countless, uh, you know, sort of very good sort of poetry books sort of you know sometimes get missed in the kind of media bub hubbub and I wanted to create sort of you know something uh exciting with a not sexy but exciting with a book and uh with the video format and I had a great uh ally in Ivor Wigan who created two of the videos in the book and I personally think is just such an exciting artist He's 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 had a lot of success in his own game uh, in photography, and now he's you know worked for Supreme and he's worked for with Virgil Abloh on a Louis Vuitton campaign. You know, uh, obviously before Virgil Abloh passed away, but he's also sort of um, created these two videos for me, and I'm so excited about it because you know he's. He's he's done these videos. I think they're amazing. I think that I'm just so proud of them, and they're appearing in print in the video book. So it's kind of a, a sort of for me, it couldn't get better. But it depends what other people think. And then um, and then the other aspect of it, the themes and guest list. What I was originally thinking was to create just a book with um, uh, it's like a dinner party book, like a big dinner party of let's say thirty people. And who would you like to have in your fantasy dinner party? I, I would create a, a bio, short potted biographi biographical poem about each character. So I called it Guest List. In the end, I decided I wanted it to be more complex. So I added another section, which is Stragglers. That's more of a serious theme because it's dealing with people who are marginalised, who I sort of empathise with and I've... I've got similar traits to. Let's touch on the guest list moment for a, for a second. So when you when you refer to that, that these are some of the individuals, some of them mythical, some of them real, um, who are are included within the book. I can understand. I can understand Maradona, given your Ar Argentinian background. Why people like Medusa? Where where did that come from? I've often struggled with this. I'm not sure. I think uh, it might be to do with sensitivity. So you know. Uh, I like to think that, you know, I, I, I have lateral thinking that I think, you know, I think in a kind of uh, reverberating way, um, which is due to mindfulness, you know, mindfulness is classically sort of uh, aligned with meditation, but I think it just, it's a kind of form of lateral thinking. I don't know, for some reason, I equated it with a Medusa, because there's a form of that which is very beautiful, like a sort of, you know, a cuttlefish or a, or, a, or a squid or an octopus which has ink and then they're also sort of they can also be toxic so that's a brief sort of symmetry there and uh and obviously you know uh the poet often looks into the kind of uh you know make, make us slightly uh feel a bit uneasy or skittish skittish i know but you know, I think that the 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 sort of piercing gaze of the Medusa, if you look into her eyes, then you'll turn to stone. And sometimes poetry can be quite unpopular for that very reason that people don't really like to sort of confront their um, confront their uh, sort of you know the the sort of the sort of residual questions of our existence or without wanting to sound too pompous, you know, just sort of things, things that just sort of are on the, the uncomfortable questions. You, you mentioned that dinner party environment. If, if there was somebody at that dinner party within the book that you would want to sit next to, who is it? I think it would most, most certainly be Brad Pitt. I just love to sit next to him and, uh, you know, sort of catch his drift, you know, just sort of, you know, just mellow out in that sort of sort of you know philosophy light kind of armchair and just talk with him